Oh God, I have my interview and here I'm going bonkers again. Have you ever felt this interview stress? This placement season, you can ace your interviews very easily. Hi everyone, this is going to be a very special session by K21 Academy as we are going to cover the top 15 interview questions around Azure. And we'll also be covering some surprise questions that were asked by the big tech giants. So watch the video till the end. Our first question is very generic and has been asked by almost all the master recruiters. What is Azure? To get started, I'll be explaining this in very layman terms. Microsoft Azure is a platform that enables users to engage in agile cloud computing and is designed for creating and managing apps through Microsoft's data centers. As a basic definition, Azure is Microsoft's operating system for the cloud computing. Our next question is which web applications can be deployed with Azure? Azure Web Apps provides a platform to build an app in the Azure without having to deploy, configure, and maintain your own virtual VM. You can build web apps using ASP.NET, PHP, WCF Framework, Node.js, and Python. Our third question is explain virtual machines and this question needs to be answered very well by you as it will test your basics to the board. A virtual machine is a virtual environment that functions as a virtual computer system with its own CPU, memory, network interface and storage created on a physical hardware system that could be located off or on premises. Microsoft Azure's VM scale sets are groups of individual virtual machines within the Microsoft Public Cloud that IT administrators can configure and manage as a single unit. Moving to the fourth question, what are false domains? A false domain defines the group of virtual machines that share a power source and network switch. Each and every false domain contains some racks and each rack contains a virtual machine. Each of these false domains shares a power supply and a network switch. You should place your VM such a way that each false domain gets one web server, one database server and like that. Next up, what do you mean by a network security group? A network security group in Azure is the way to activate a rule or access control list which will allow or deny network traffic to your virtual machine's instances in a virtual network. NSGs can be associated with subnets or individual virtual machine instances within that particular subnet. Moving to our sixth question now, what is Azure Active Directory? And this question was asked by Infosys in its campus placements. Azure Active Directory or Azure AD is Microsoft's enterprise cloud-based identity and access management solution. You can also call that IAM. Azure AD is the backbone of the Office 365 system and it can sync with on-premise Active Directory and provide authentication to other cloud-based systems. And this could be done via OAuth. Next up, we have our seventh question, which says, what is Azure VNet? And this again is a surprise question for you as this was asked by Microsoft in its off-campus drive. Azure Virtual Network is a fundamental building block of your own private network in an Azure. The VNet enables many types of Azure resources such as Azure Virtual Machines to securely communicate with each other. Also, an Azure Net Virtual Net Framework is a representation of your own network in the particular cloud. Moving to our eighth question, define Redis database. Redis is an open source in-memory data structure store used as a database, cache, and message broker. It provides data structures such as strings, hashes, lists, sets, sorted sets with uh, range queries, bitmaps, hyperlogs, geospatial indexes, and strings. Redis is a database that is commonly referred to as NoSQL or non-relational. In Redis, there are no tables and there is no database defined or enforced way of relating data in Redis with other data in Redis. Next up, we have another surprise question for you that was asked by witsy.ai. 
it says what is Azure Redis Cache. Azure Cache for Redis provides an in-memory data store based on Redis software. It provides secure and dedicated Redis server instances for full Redis APIs compatibility. The service is operated by Microsoft, hosted on Azure, and usable by any application within or outside of Azure. It can improve the application throughput and latency. It can speed up applications with distributed caches. Moving up next, we have how to change virtual machines availability using Azure PowerShell. There are the steps you can perform to change the virtual machines availability using Azure PowerShell. You can create new availability set if it does not exist. You can remove the original VM or you can create the basic configuration for replacement of VM. Moving to our 11th question, it says, do you have any idea about the power states of a virtual machine? This question is asked to check advanced concept of virtual machines. There are six power states in total virtual machines. It starts with starting, which indicates that virtual machine is being started. Next state is running, which indicates that VM is running. There are two choices, stopping and deallocating. Stopping indicates that virtual machine is being stopped. Stop indicates that VM is stopped. Deallocating indicates that VM is being deallocated. And deallocated indicates that deallocation is already done. Now, let's see some differences between Azure Storage Queues and Azure Service Bus Queues. Talking about Azure Storage Queues, these queues are commonly used to create a backlog of work to process asynchronously, whereas in Azure Service Bus Queues, the producer does not have to wait for a reply from the consumer to continue to the process and send messages. Talking about Azure Storage Queues, this service offers a large number of message storages. Whereas in Azure Service Bus Queues, this service offers first in first out message delivery to one or more competing consumers. Next up, we have what is auto scaling in Azure. The auto scaling feature enables your application to scale up or down automatically according to your defined criteria. Azure auto scaling feature scales out the instances impeccably whenever demand increases. So, you can save money by flicking unnecessary instances automatically. Now, we will understand about some Azure storages. What are the different types of storages in Azure? We have blobs, that is, a blob storage is Microsoft Azure service for storing binary big objects such as text, pictures, videos, etc. Coming to the line, Storage, the sole target of a queue is to empower the communication among web and worker role instances. Next, we have the table storage. The table storage represents storage areas across the machine for information that is in the form of the properties of the cloud. Coming to our last question, and this question is a surprise question for you as it was asked in Nagaro Technologies. What is Azure Scheduler? Azure Scheduler lets you run jobs such as calling HTTPS, endpoints, or posting messages to Azure storage queues or on any schedule, making it ideal for recurring actions like cleaning up logs, kicking off backups, and maintenance tasks. If you want to master Azure and its basic concepts from scratch, you can book your seat for our free class. You can log on to k21academy.com slash az30302. You can comment down your doubts and queries below. Thank you.